former President Donald Trump is meeting with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in Florida today. The visit comes just one day after Netanyahu wrapped up his controversial visit to Washington, meeting with President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris, her first sit down with the world leader since entering the presidential race. Natalie Brand has it all covered for us from Washington. It's an honor to have you with us. Former President Donald Trump is meeting with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu at Mar-a-Lago, their first face-to-face -face talks in nearly four years. Welcome, Mr. Prime Minister. It comes a day after Netanyahu visited the White House, meeting separately with President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. Let's get the deal done so we can get a ceasefire to end the war. The Biden administration is dialing up pressure for the Israeli prime minister to close a ceasefire deal that would also bring hostages home. The vice president and likely Democratic nominee outlined her vision. It is time for this war to end and end in a way where Israel is secure, all the hostages are released, the suffering of Palestinians in Gaza ends, and the Palestinian people can exercise their right to freedom, dignity, and self-determination. National polls show Trump and Harris already running neck and neck, just days into her candidacy. She's a San Francisco radical. Friday morning, Harris received an endorsement from former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama. We called to say Michelle and I couldn't be prouder to endorse you and to do everything we can to get you through this election and, and into the Oval Office. As Trump adjusts his focus from Biden to Harris, the vice president is calling for a debate. I have agreed to the previously agreed upon September 10th debate. He agreed to that previously. Now it appears he's backpedaling, but I'm ready. In a statement late Thursday, the Trump campaign said debate details cannot be finalized until Democrats formally decide on their nominee. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. This weekend, Trump is holding a rally in Minnesota with his VP pick, J.D. Vance. The Harris campaign says it's holding a weekend of action for volunteers across battleground states to mark 100 days until the election.